Hello, and welcome to this presentation of the STM32L4 System Configuration Controller. STM32WB devices feature a set of configuration registers. The System Configuration Controller gives access to the following features. Remapping memory areas to Cortex-M4 address 0. Managing the external interrupt line connection to the GPIOs, certain robustness features, SRAM2 write protection and erase, floating point unit interrupts, the configuration of the 20 milliamp high drive IOs used for I2C fast mode, plus peripheral interrupt masking per CPU, and finally the Cortex M0 Plus peripheral security. Pictured here is the 4 GB linear address mapping of the STM32WB microcontroller. The flash memory is up to 1 MB in a single bank configuration. The SRAM total size is 256 kilobytes. It is split into three parts. SRAM 1 is 192 kilobytes, starting from address 0xx200000 and SRAM 2A backup RAM is 32 kilobytes, starting from address 0x100000 and also aliased at address 0x200300000 followed by SRAM 2B non-backup, which is also 32 bytes, starting from address 0x100080000 and aliased at address 0x200380000. SRAM 1 is located in the usual ARM memory space for RAM on the SBUS while SRAM 2A and SRAM 2B can also be directly accessed through data code and instruction code buses allowing zero wait states used for code execution. The memory remap at Cortex-M4 address 0 allows the boost of the performance thanks to instruction and data bus access instead of using the system bus. The memory remap at address 0 is selected using the MEM mode bits in the System Configuration Remap Register. They allow the selection of either the main flash memory or the system flash memory, the SRAM1 or the Quad SPI. Here we have the STM32WB's bus matrix. The bus masters are shown on top and the Cortex-M4 core, the Cortex-M0 Plus core, and the two DMA controllers communicate with the bus slaves, shown on the right via the circled intersections. The flash memory is read through the accelerator. Cortex-M4 instructions are fetched through instruction bus, and literal pools are read through the data bus. The SRAM1 is accessed by default by the system bus, and can be accessed through IBUS and DBUS when it is remapped at address 0, shown by the dark blue circles in order to increase performance. SRAM2 is accessible through the IBUS and DBUS, allowing zero wait state code execution, and through the SBUS. The Quad SPI can be read and executed through the system bus by default, and can be remapped at zero to increase performance. The Cortex-M0 Plus also reads the flash memory through the Adaptive Real-Time Accelerator, or ART, and has access to the SRAM 2A and 2B memories and the AHB1, AHB2, and AHB shared peripherals. The two DMAs can access all memories and peripherals. Different bus masters are able to access different memories and peripherals simultaneously via the bus matrix, enabling high-performance compute operations. Simultaneous master accesses to the same bus are handled via round-robin arbitration. There are three boot modes, which are selected by the nBoot0 option bit or by the boot0 pin and an option bit named nBoot1. When the boot zero pin or option bit is at a low level, the STM32WB boots from the user flash memory, which is aliased at address zero. 
This is the standard method of booting the STM32WB. When the boot zero pin or option bit is set at a high level, the end boot one option bit determines the boot mode. In addition to the end boot one option bit, boot mode is selected either by the boot zero pin or the end boot zero option bit, depending on the value of the NSW boot zero option bit in the flash OPTR register, as shown in this table. A flash empty check mechanism is implemented to force the boot from the system flash memory instead of the main flash memory if the first flash memory location is not programmed. The default level for the option bits is high, enabling the boot from the system memory portion of the flash memory. The other option is booting from the SRAM1 memory region, which may be used for debugging purposes. The on-chip bootloader allows the user to program the flash memory through a serial communications peripheral. The supported protocols are USART, USB, CAN, SPI, and I2C. The 64 kilobytes of SRAM2 are particularly suitable for performance, integrity, and safety, and low power. The SRAM2 is accessed through the data and instruction buses without any remapping which enables code execution at zero wait states and also through the S bus allowing RAM address continuity between SRAM1 and SRAM2 memories. The SRAM2 supports parity check. The data bus width is 36 bits because 4 bits are available for parity check, 1 bit per byte. In order to increase memory robustness as required for instance by class B or SIL standards, Class B and SIL are safety standards. Class B is for home appliances and SIL for the safety integrity level. The parity bits are computed and stored when writing into the SRAM. Then they are automatically checked when reading. If one bit fails, a non-maskable interrupt or NMI is generated. The same error can also be linked to the break input of the timers. The 32 kilobyte SRAM A content can optionally be retained in standby mode. The SRAM 2 is also suitable for secure applications. The SRAM 2 can be write protected with a 1 kilobyte granularity. The SRAM 2 can also be readout protected via the RDP option byte. When protected, the SRAM 2 cannot be read or written by the JTAG or serial wire debug port and when the boot in system flash or boot in SRAM is selected. The SRAM 2 is erased when the readout protection is changed from level 1 to level 0. Please refer to the system memory protections training for further details. The SRAM 2 can be erased by software by setting the SRAM 2 ER bit in the SRAM 2 system configuration control and status register. The SRAM2 can also be erased with the system reset depending on the option bit SRAM2RST in the user option bytes. Two SRAM2 areas, one in SRAM2A and one in SRAM2B, can be made secure via user option bytes, only giving exclusive Cortex M0 Plus access to the Cortex M0 Plus core in these areas. The System Configuration Register 2 contains the control and status bits linked to safety and robustness, such as the SRAM2 parity error flag, and the control bits to direct some error detection events to the timer's break inputs. This allows timer outputs to be placed in a known state during an application crash. Once programmed, the connection is locked until the next system reset. These internal events include a flash error code correction event, a power voltage detector event, SRAM2 parity error event, and the Cortex M4 hard fault. The system configuration controller manages the selection of the GPIO to the external interrupt or event signal, which is used as asynchronous external interrupt or event with wake up from stop capability. It also allows the selected GPIO pin to be used as an internal interconnect trigger signal to the ADC. Configuration Register 1 contains the floating point unit interrupt control bits. It also contains the I2C Fast Mode Plus 20 milliamp drive enable control bits. 
Four IOs can be configured with high drive mode even if they are not used as I2C alternate functions. They can be used to drive LEDs, for instance. The I.O. analog switch voltage booster is also selected here. Peripheral interrupts sharing the same NVIC vector have a mask to prevent them from interrupting both CPUs. The AES Accelerator 1, the AES Accelerator 2, the Public Key Accelerator, and the True Random Number Generator peripherals can dynamically be made secure by the Cortex-M0 Plus firmware through secure register bits in the system configuration block, enabling access to the secure part of the internal SRAM or flash memories. In addition to this training, you can refer to the reset and clock control, power controller, interrupts, flash and system memory protections, timers, I2C, encryption, public key, and true random number generator training. For more details, please refer to Application Notes AN2606, STM32 Microcontroller System Memory Boot Mode, and AN4435, Guidelines for Obtaining UL CSA IEC 6335 Class B Certification in any STM32 application.